Can you cook a turkey in a trash can? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. It is two days to turkey day, which Woo. means you got to get your turkey game in gear. Oh, if you wow. don't celebrate Thanksgiving this week, well, that's something to be thankful for. <laughs> that you don't have to be <laughs> thankful. Yeah, I mean, there's a, well, the point is Being you should always can be, be thankful. Cumbersome. And you should always eat turkey when you can. And that's a pun, given what we're gonna do today. Um, you can cook a turkey the way you always do right. in the good old oven, but you can also mix it up. And why not get prepared for the apocalypse at the same time? Because listen, people, this is gonna happen. The world is gonna end and there's gonna be a few people left along with some cockroaches and those people are gonna wanna be thankful. And I have every reason to believe that these two guys are gonna be two of those people left during the apocalypse and maybe you will be too. And we're gonna help prepare you for that by showing you how to cook a turkey in a trash can. <laughs> Here's what you're gonna need to get started. A wooden post. A couple of rolls of aluminum foil. A couple bags of charcoal. A shovel. A pair of heavy gloves, a metal trash can, and probably a turkey. Okay, put all those things together and uh, it, it'll work, right? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> all right, let's cook this bad boy. Welcome to our apocalyptic parking lot. Step one is to find a patch of dirt. Which, Here's one. Well, we created it here in the parking lot. Let's get down on it. Rick. But in the apocalypse, most of the land will be patches of dirt, so it's gonna That's be true. really easy. Now, are we in the apocalypse or are we poke post apocalypse? Are we poke apocalypse? <laughs> are we po post apocalyptic? Post. We, okay. ma we made it through. Me and you lived. Yeah. There's a few other people out there. And a lot of dirt. And some turkeys. And what we got to do is uh, get a stake here to drive down into the dirt uh, and then stake the uh, turkey on it. That's right. We won't tell the secret that. We have a nail that we're gonna put into a hole in the bottom of our steak. Yeah, we won't tell that secret. But you just find the nearest steak that you can find. If you have to remove it from a dead body, like from the person that you just stabbed through the heart, you know what, who cares? It's, as long as it, you can put a turkey on it. Okay, and the next thing you wanna do is loot the local grocery store for some aluminum foil. Um, or you can just steal it from someone who's collected it. Now, Those are your options. How are we gonna start this Okay, fire? so what, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cover the steak. Uh, well, I didn't go far enough. Well, you want to cover the whole ground oh, okay. around the stake, about that. Right. like this right here. Oh, don't get dirt on top of it. That's radioactive dirt, man. Think about it. And then you gotta go yeah. like that. Yeah, that's real nice. Now you're gonna want to cover the stake. Go, go around like that this. way. Yeah. You're gonna wrap it. Of course, that's the way to do it. Hold it over like you that. Fold that over. Create a little cap. And we're gonna, hey, we're gonna do good in the apartment. We're gonna do good. If how we're doing so far is a sign, it's a good sign. Uh, so basically we're creating a foil bed with which to put coals that then will bring the heat up so the heat doesn't go down into the uh, dirt. The reason you want to cover the steak is because you don't want to transfer the diseases from the dead body that you pulled the steak out of onto the turkey. Because that right. guy could have had anything. Anything will kill you in the apocalypse. And do you have the stones link? Yeah. Throw a stone down there. Now, you, the stones that you don't use to, to pick off little rabbits and other fowl. You can crush skulls with. Yeah, the ones that you don't use as weapons in the apocalypse, you can use to hold down the tinfoil. All right, now you gotta be quiet because you start to attract people who are like, are they building a launching pad for a rocket or are they about to cook a turkey, you know? <laughs> Either way, I want in on that. I'm watching, I was reaching for the rocks over there. Step next, put on turkey. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Now this uh, dead bird has been seasoned with post-apocalyptic spices, including but not limited to salt, pepper, some sort of oregano-ish herb. Some, uh, we got some um, rosemary, which is prolific in the apocalypse. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna, um, ooh, he's, he's heavy. And you're gonna wanna stick this right into the turkey's cavity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Okay. All right, you just right, put it right on there. All right, there we go. He's trying okay. to fly away now. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> this is where the head would be. I'm familiar with the anatomy hey, of a turkey. You gonna bait me up or what? Okay, I'm glad I didn't have to touch that. Look See how that, that worked out so nice? I just got to talk. Look at that, look. Do a little dance. I'm gonna put this away. So, oh, and look, here's a little, little. you can give it a little shower of, of goodness. That's optional. 
and I would have opted not to do it, but <laughs> All I, right, so I didn't have the, the pan at that point. We're gonna get rid of this. Okay, and, and look, oh, look at this, Link. Oh! We got a trash can. And All trash cans are this clean in the apocalypse. Right, we highly recommend using an unused trash can, i.e. a new one. Now you're just gonna wanna just center it and drop it. Or lower it. These are gonna be lying around everywhere in the apocalypse. I mean, overturned trash cans. They're gonna be dirtier than this. Upright trash cans, upside down trash cans. But you might be able to find one of these at like a Home Depot that hasn't been used yet. All right, step next, apply the heat rocks, AKA charcoal. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to grab some gloves. Again, pull those off the dead guy. Um, or you may already have a pair, I don't know. That dead guy sure had a lot of stuff on oh, it we yeah. needed. Well, you, you always kill the guy with the gloves. That's a sign that he's got other things that you need. Here you go. Oh, this is some hotness. Oh, so let's put some on the top. Here, shovel some right in, into that. Here you go. Now, we're choosing to work together as a team and both do the charcoal, but typically one of us would be defending camp. Eventually, that will happen. Teamwork. That's good. But now, what we've been told by our apocalypse experts is that the turkey will take about an hour to cook. Uh, a 12 pound turkey will take about an hour to cook with this configuration, which is a lot quicker than it typically would be uh, in an oven. And you don't have a lot of time in the apocalypse because the next thing you know, another one of your friends is dead or they turned on you. All right, so we're gonna wait about an hour. Let's just chill out and uh, watch it. My face is baking. Oh yeah, it's hot, man. Oh, yeah. Look what we did, Link. At this point, you could do any number of things to kill the time. Just make sure you don't kill each other. You know what? I got an idea. If he's not back in an hour, I'm eating the entire turkey and I'm not looking for him. Oh, hi, Rhett, you're back. Hey, Link. I would have looked for you if you didn't come back. Oh, I'm sure you would. I promise. You're a friend. Where'd you get the guitar? You know that guy with the gloves? <laughs> <laughs> Dude had a guitar it's, too. It's the gift that keeps on giving. That is a clean guitar. He had a lot of stuff. He had is a pick it, too. Right there in his gloved hand. And I just took it out with my mouth. All right. Anyway, my, my idea is that we could sing. I understand. I understood that. I understood you to mean that when I saw you come back with a guitar. So, so something very uh, dismal. Something very minor. Because we're all going to die eventually. Yeah. We're here together in these apocalyptic lands, being chased by a biker gang who's got flamethrowers for hands. But we won't let that stop us from enjoying a Thanksgiving feast. No. Even though everyone we know is deceased. We got a turkey and a trash can. Turkey in a trash can. A turkey in a trash can. Turkey in a trash can. Has anybody seen our friend Stan? He was playing a guitar and he had gloves on. Got a turkey in a trash can. And I bet we'll be singing this song 60 minutes from now. We still got a turkey in a trash can. Turkey in a trash can. A turkey in a trash can. Turkey in a trash can. We can't locate a woman. Preferably we'd find two. We got a turkey, turkey in a trash can. Now let's get it out. Yeah. <laughs> All yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Let me re-glove myself. Uh, 60 minutes, maybe a little bit more because we got carried away with our song. A uh, lot of heat. Where are we grabbing here? Um, just kind of smush and push, smush and lift push? and move. Don't use the handle? You can use the handle. One, two, three, up, 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 up. There's a turkey in there, there over. All right, Man. put it down, put it down. Woo! Look at that, look at that. He got skinnier. 
Yeah, this thing is golden brown, man. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat this thing up. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Caitlin. I'm Ethan. I'm Amber. I'm Jim. And, and we're, we're in the North, North Carolina, Carolina State, State Fair. And, and it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel of mythicality. Woohoo! Get the Oh My Flavors t-shirt at redlink.com slash store where 100% of the proceeds go to help action against hunger on the back. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, and click through the Good Mythical More Woo. where we and all of the crew are going to eat this thing. That looks good, doesn't it, y'all? We'll find out when we eat it. Congratulations to Princess Darth Vader. You win a personalized GMM. But you know, when the going gets tough, Princess Darth Vader gets going. Yeah, and if you really need somebody to have your back, Princess Darth Vader will be there when nobody else will. Princess Darth Vader is the best. <laughs> There's two, <laughs> see that little there? It looks like two little pads. It's like a little tur turkey butt in there. See that? Yeah. yeah. That's me. <laughs> <laughs>